a video on this one. It's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, first, I would like to do a little warning. It's going to be a little bit graphic. I uh, was cooking for some friends yesterday and a little incident happened. But in a certain way, uh, it's a good, uh, <laughs> it, it gave me a chance to do a good video. And uh, so I'll show some I image of uh, what I was doing and I'll show image after that of uh, what happened. So, uh, I was doing a nice little flambe, but um, I was not cooking in my own kitchen, and so I didn't have the, the tools I like to use usually, so the flame kind of got me on the thumb. Um, and like I said, I was not in my home, so I had to uh, improvise a little dressing. And uh, so we'll do a little bit of wound care. And I thought I what I will do is uh, show a lot of... A lot of uh, People that uh, hear me um, talk about uh, wound care and stuff, I always uh, emphasize about why gauze is not that great and why I go to other dressings. And so this time will be a good um, to preach my own uh, religion, I guess, or uh, to preach what I uh, what I to put in in uh, in action what I preach. So I will take care of my wound. Uh, not going to doctors and stuff because it's it's not that major, but with the stuff that I have and show how the um, uh, with uh, with uh, why gauze um, not such a great thing for uh, the wound I have. So like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, it's going to be graphic. It's uh, it looks always worse than kind of it is, and um, we'll talk a little bit about the management I'm going to do and stuff. So initially. Uh, when I burn, like I said, when I don't know if you ever flambe something, uh, you have to warm up the liquid, and then uh, you put a flame on it. And sadly, I didn't have the right uh, lighter, so the flame kind of came up a little bit and hit my thumb. Uh, so the first thing you always do is put it under the water, like I did, and uh, to try to cool off because uh, it's just like boiling water. Even if you stop the fire under the water, the water is still hot. Well, imagine that we're made of a lot of uh, a lot of percentage of water in her body so between her cells and everything there's a lot of water and so as the heat was produced to this part it's still boiling. so that's what you want to cool it off and so I put it under cold water and, and stuff and the first thing I did again because I didn't uh, I didn't have my first aid kit with me or I, uh, it was it was away um, what I did was apply honey and also what I did was a quick dressing with saran wrap and so this is one advantage of sometime learning about improvising dressing uh, saran wrap can be found in pretty much every kitchen and so I was able to do a quick dressing with that uh, the advantage of the saran wrap is that it's going to keep any uh, liquid that you would lose because um, with burns because you lose your skin again we're made of a lot of water that can um, lose a liquid so basically I put honey on it and I was able to wrap it up uh, another thing too, because it was on my on my thumb, and I'll show the, <laughs> the thing in a minute. But because it's on my thumb, it's hard to make a dressing, especially with uh, stuff like this, uh, which is not specialized. So what I did is then I put a glove. The reason for the glove was so that I could um, uh, maintain it and protect it, uh, if if need be. Because obviously now there's a lot of moisture because it's been on for a little bit. Um, you could cut. Uh, the fingers over here so that that could still breed in but still protect the region that you have so I, uh, actually it's been a pretty good dressing for that um, so I'll show a little bit what I'll do and then we'll uh, literally do live <laughs> wound care right on on the, um, the internet uh, so first 
there's a big controversy with uh, when you have so it's secondary. Well, secondary obviously there's different ways of saying stuff, but we'll we'll go with secondary because most people know it. But there's a uh, superficial burn and deeper burns, and that's the most uh, use uh, stuff. But uh, basically, it's got it's got some fluids in. Uh, there's always a controversy now. Do you take do you uh, take off the liquid out or not? Some people say yes, yes, you should, because it's all inflammatory process and things. Some other people, no, 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 it's there to heal. Um, no matter what you do, if if you don't have like right right now, because I didn't have dressings and proper dressings and stuff, not a good thing to take it off, because as as best as you can. Um, you try to leave whatever the body is doing to himself and try to uh, to go. Obviously, uh, as most people know, I'm a trained professional, so I do those dressing. If you would have the same kind of thing, I would recommend that you go to a hospital. Uh, I'm doing this now because, again, I, I got all the gear at home. I'm trained as well to do to deal with those, and I can assess it myself if it gets worse or anything like this. But anything that happens like this please consult a healthcare professional to get their own opinions because uh, if you're not trained to do those you could miss a man uh, miss a judge or even put the wrong dressings on um, so this is more just for uh, the benefits of, of you uh, but it's from my years of training and, and also my knowledge of wound dressing and product and I also have the products at home which probably would be what we would use in the same hospital um, so for me, because of where it is, right now it's right on the thumb, kind of on the surface, it will be hard to make a good dressing that stays without kind of popping it up. So I will uh, take the liquid out first for that purpose. Uh, second as well is that right now my numb, I don't really have pain, never really had pain again because pain comes when the nerves are like this, we have like a layer of, of skin on the top of it. But when we burn ourselves, so when you have like a, sun, a sunburn or anything, those nerves will came in contact with the air, and that's what burns. So that's why when we wet or we put on the water, we cut this contact with air, and that's why the pain is not so much there. Also, sometimes uh, liquid will go. So right now, what is painful, uh, which is not really pain, but it's more like a, I feel numb. It's just like when you fall asleep on your hand or 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 your arm that numbness this is what I feel on, on my thumb pretty much on this side here on the back there and over here and so it's probably because of the pressure of the fluids so I'll take that off as well to kind of um, help uh, with that um, the dressings that you would do for something like this go so basically in most dressing part that I always said you leave it for about seven days as long as you can better it is so you don't need to change frequently. Um, burns is always a little bit different so that's why I say go see a healthcare professional. The dressing that I'm going to use now because this will ooze a lot of fluids. Uh, so if I would put just a regular dressing that I, I put, um, it wouldn't um, I, uh, it would so uh, it would get uh, saturated very quickly and then it would be inefficient uh, so what you do is dressings like this so because it's uh, kind of gray color like this basically this has uh, silver in it and so the silver what it does one it helps the healing and also it's an antimicrobial because burns obviously because you, you lost your skin has higher risk of infection and so what I'm going to be uh, using it's not that part but it, this is what I carry in my first aid kit usually because it's for bigger and but I could cut small pieces as I needed um, for here what I'll be using is a smaller one but as you can see from different from that there's no silver in that one but my silver will come from a cream um, so the dressing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be emptying the fluids out of the the wound then I'm going to be filling out with an hydrogel so uh, when you have hydrogel it's pretty much the same thing as if you would I spoke in the past uh, little dressings um, um, that uh, you can use 
and they it's included in the dressing and those are uh, they're expensive but they're great for that but they also come in a gel form uh, so I'm going to be using that because I'll be able to change my dressings as it goes and that's that's also what I have here and um, right now I'm kind of redoing my my um, my uh, first aid kits and so my gear is a little bit all over the place and hard to find so I'll be using that so the first three days what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, putting a, uh, a sponge so that that attract all the fluids out and the healing process will start with the norm gel in three days I'll reassess my dressing and then we'll uh, we'll talk about how it goes for the procedure of this uh, obviously you need to be as sterile as you can uh, so a good way that you can sterilize instrument as well a lot of people will say to burn it but the problem is it can um, dull your edge or something so a good way that you can sterilize is just use Purell you put that on and then you start the flame and so what happened is going to be a nice blue flame just like you know when you use a, a alcohol uh, stove or anything like this and that will kill all the bacteria but it, it it's the alcohol that will burn not so much the blade so the blade won't be hot oh, well, it'll be hot but it won't be um, dulling like when you put it red because you're changing obviously the, the concept so basically you put some Purell on it uh, obviously I will clean my hands as much as possible to uh, well I will clean all my hands to keep them and try to meet as uh, as uh, nice things that it is and then like I said uh, I'll put a uh, so I won't put this one but I'll put a smaller one so that will be a perfect size as you can see from my thumb so I'll be able to wrap it up and then to hold it off and to protect it from the outside so the layer of skin will be well protected with this and the gels inside but now I need to protect this from uh, getting um, water from the outside from the humidity of of the outside and this is what is going to come handy uh, the only issue with the coban is that it can be to, uh, because of its elasticity it is when you apply this you have to be mindful of how you apply it because you can cut the circulation with that stuff um, so uh, with a burn it will expand and, and change size so you want to leave it loose not too loose that the dressing will change but uh, like will fall but um, loose enough so that there's a place for elasticity or else my uh, my finger uh, will become numb in the circulation because it will um, go up and down and so you have to also keep size so if you start feeling numbness or you start seeing that your thumb um, so your cap refill so that means uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but uh, when you press and it's red and you press it's white and then you release it comes red. If it's less than two seconds, then it's normal. If it's greater than that, then there's something happening. Or even if it doesn't get red a uh, hole and it's already white or changing color, then this is way too tight, so you need to release it. The advantage of the cold band, like I mentioned before, is that one, it's a little bit more water resistant, and I did a test before uh, showing the difference on it. It's a little bit more water resistant than and then um, gauze. Gauze holds it up. It's like cotton and outside, and the sweats, everything stays in. But the cold band doesn't as much. As well as the other advantage of the cold band is that I can reuse it. Uh, so, um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, stick around. We'll do uh, the procedure.